Today I'll be showing you how to counter laser designator missiles using what's known as a laser dazzler. Now if you don't know already, laser designator missiles are missiles that uses a laser designator as their primary guidance. This is arguably one of the strongest guidance type out of the ones you have available because it can work above water, it can work underwater, it cannot be decoyed, and cannot be ECM jammed. It's just straight up one of the best guidance. However, I'll be showing you how to counter it. Now the way these missiles work is there's a missile laser painter block. These laser emitters will actually point at an enemy craft and then guide the laser designator missiles towards it. And what makes these so strong is that you know, not only does it guide your missiles, it can also guide your entire team's missiles. And it just makes it incredibly versatile in almost any situation. So I'll show you how nasty these can be. I've turned off the visual laser for most of these, but I'll leave this one on just so you can see what's going on more easily. Now I'll show you just how nasty these missiles can be. I'll spawn a maelstrom. I'll slow down the game a bit, so as you can see, these laser emitters will point at the enemy craft and that will actually give guidance to these missiles to lock on and attack it. And I'll speed things up so you can see just how effective this can be. Now remember when I said these cannot be decoyed, cannot be jammed by ECMs? Well, there is actually one way you can counter these, and I'll show you how. Now this is my little test hovercraft. We're going to show you how to build what I call a laser dazzler. Now I'll just shoot some missiles at it so you see what happens when I don't have the laser dazzler. Turn on the large, Let's just shoot some large missiles. We got completely destroyed by the missiles. So I'm going to repair this up and then go into how to build a Dazzler. Now what you need is a two axis turret. Grab a multi-purpose laser block, put it on top. Grab a laser coupler, put it behind. Single input cavity, flip it so it's facing down. And then place it on the bottom. Next, you'll put a single laser pump into your cavity. Then you'll grab your laser combiners and attach it to your multi-purpose laser block. We'll put one on top, put one in front, and then one to the left and one to the right. Next, you'll grab a laser steering optic and put one in front of each of these. This will give it a very wide firing arc of 60 degrees which will let it hit a lot of missiles in front of it. Next, grab your SeaWiz controller. We'll put one behind each of these. And then one below this. This one will control the turret and the one above it. Then you're going to want to copy this rule set for each of the SeaWiz controller. For your main, I have it ignore outside, type of projectile 1. This will make it ignore cram shells. Then I put a weight on the distance, 0 to 2000. Give the closer range a higher weight. This will have it prioritize the closer missiles. 
and then weight shots fired, 0 to 30, and then higher weight at lower shots fired. This will make it prioritize the missiles that have not been fired at. Now the important part is the locked target rule set. You want to have a ignore outside shots fired, 0 to 30. This will make it switch back and forth between all the missiles so that every single one gets blinded. Then go back into your controller page and hit spread to similar controllers at the bottom here. This will copy the settings to all these other controllers so that you're not having to add them one by one. Next I'll set the colors on all these lasers so you can see them more easily. And we're going to save the whole thing as a sub object. The whole laser dazzler is incredibly cheap, only costing us 1500 materials. I'll add another one in front since they're so cheap. Now let's test our Dazzlers. Before we do that, one thing I will add, since we have two of these. For this one, I'll add another rule. Ignore inside number of CWIS aiming. So I'll make this one ignore uh, any missiles that are being aimed at by the other one. That way we get a little more even coverage. And I'll turn on the missiles now. Oh, before I forget, I'll turn on set as persistence so that it draws a little circle over the missiles. And we can see what's going on a little bit better. I'll slow things down a little bit. The missiles are being blinded by the lasers. The purple line shows where the missiles are headed. They're trailing behind our craft because blinded missiles fly towards the last guidance position before they got blinded. Which was way back there. And that causes all the missiles to fly off course. And that entire volley basically missed us. Now it's a little bit close here, some of them are not getting fully blinded, or they're getting lucky enough and getting close to us. But I would say that I did a pretty good job making most of the missiles just completely missed. We did take a shot here, but it's, compared to getting hit by every single one, I say it's pretty good. got hit by another one. This isn't 100% foolproof. Sometimes you just don't have enough dazzlers to blind every single missiles. Sometimes they just get lucky and they happen to be traveling at the correct angle to be hitting our craft anyways. But this should make a lot of them just straight up miss our craft. Alright, let's try the large missiles. There's fewer of these, so it's a little bit easier to dazzle with the amount of lasers we have.
That entire volley just completely went off track. Yep, that missile there started to lock back on, but then it got dazzled. Now I'll show you what happens without the Dazzlers. We just get hit and instantly annihilated by these missiles. Alright, Dazzlers are off. And the missiles, they're locking on. And we're about to get destroyed. Hope you found this video useful.